This is going to give us the announcement about we're being recorded. We have dueling chaos communities. I don't. I don't know whether I'm talking to Elizabeth or Sean. Yeah, it's not so me confusing. anymore because the record button went away. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. No, it's just one of those things. Oh, I am chaos community. That's I see that now. Did you hit the record button, Elizabeth? Yes. Okay. All right. Weird. It's not giving us a little message anymore. I got the oh. message. You, oh, you did. didn't because you have special. Oh, I am logged in. They special it, it took away my button, but not my identity, I guess. Well, yeah. So the belief space. Your, uh, authority. What is that? Take away your authority, but not your responsibility. Something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Something like that. So the Believe space is where we're going to have videos and uh, online keynote is entirely possible. Um, there's a guidelines for metrics translation. Yes, add the agenda. Okay, I will. So it's it's part of the Mars project. Like the release of the translated metrics has never been done before. Yes. And currently, there are no existing guidelines as to how the people should, you know, proceed with the mm -hmm. release of those metrics. So we tried to accumulate some ideas and we plan to add a community handbook page mm -hmm. that can help the community. So at the top, you'll see some ideas listed. So if anyone has any ideas, please feel free to add them. And at next, we have the proposed page for the community handbook. Mm -hmm. So. I did post it on the mailing list, so if anyone has any thoughts, please. I recall from our last conversation that that we it's important, this line down here that I kind of highlighted about having a native speaker translate things is really important, or to have somebody at least who's a native speaker for Chinese translations review them, because I think it was, uh, I'm not sure who brought it up, but somebody mentioned that some some words in the metrics do not have a strong map to English um, or between Chinese and English. And so some of the language that we use, I think maybe proxy was one of the words, but there are there are words that are in some of the yeah. metrics right now that do not have clear translations in Chinese. And there was a strong recommendation that we modify some of the metrics to not include those words. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll have to coordinate with the translations community and the working groups. Yeah. Is there um is there anyone who would be willing to do we have the translations available right now, Yash? Or translations of um for into Chinese, do we have those available? What English to Chinese, right? Yeah, so we already have them in the translations repository. They haven't all been updated since. Okay, the so the the Chinese translations that we have uh, were were translated almost a year ago, uh, and then I know that the uh, the translation team has been working on uh, updating them based on uh, the the new metrics and the the changes to metrics that have occurred. Uh, but I don't believe, I don't believe we are at the same translation point. So I, I don't think the Chinese translations are at the same point as our regular release, this last release. Yeah, it's not the same. And uh, we were translating, uh, especially Ye Hui and Clement, they are translating the new released, uh, new released metrics. Uh, which from uh, the version of this March, and um, we will try to uh, release. No, sorry, sorry, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, we have translated uh, the latest version uh, on the master branch following the, the English branch, English version. And we, yeah. we have finished the Coleman, uh, working group Coleman uh, and uh, risk and, uh, and evolution, these three working groups. And uh, we're still working on the rest of the two working groups, like um, value and uh, and uh, what's the last thing? Uh, DEI, diversity and inclusion. Diversity and inclusion. Yeah, 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 diversity and inclusion. 
And we think that uh, we are going to finish that uh, by the end of this month. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much awesome. for, for that work. That's, uh, that's amazing. Uh, on the on that document uh, that Yash shared, there are there are three lines that are really important for us uh, moving forward. Three lines. Uh, three lines that are highlighted. You can see. Yeah. Oh right yeah. Mm -hmm. So how okay. do how do the translation teams signal that the translations are ready for the release? So how 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 can you That's tell us question. when? Uh, how can you tell us when when everything's ready for the release? Uh, mm -hmm. In comparison to Not stable, I saw that you have finished your introduction. Go ahead. And, and I just want to mention to answer your question that uh, actually we have plan to cap to catch up the the next uh, official release of the English version, which would be the on the November, I think. And I think before uh, we want to think up the uh, progress of that uh, next. Uh, uh, English version release together with the Chinese release, we think, because uh, we 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 want to match up all the metrics uh, between the Chinese version and English version. Um, that's that's me, which means uh, we we hope uh, we can share the same version number between the English version and the Chinese version, which means we don't have to uh, maintain another version numbers for Chinese version and for some other English, uh, sorry, for some other language version, but it just from our uh, intention for the, uh, from the Chinese version perspective. Would it, I had would, a question. Go ahead, Brand, yeah. Uh, so are we planning a simultaneous release of English and the translated metrics? Okay. Um, so, so when, I'm sorry, what was the question? I can it's, would it be a simultaneous release? So that would mean that for the new metric, anything that goes under review, will the, there's a 30 day review period. Um, I can't remember when it starts. Kevin, maybe you can remind us. And the question is, would they be released at the same time as so the, the English language ones? The English language uh, mm -hmm. release mm -hmm. uh, happens twice a year. So about, right. about six yes. months apart. Uh, so that happens in October, uh, and it also happens in March. So during the month of September and February, they would be under review, which would be a time for doing translations, presumably. And could you scroll down the document? Sure. A Farther? Yeah. We have a section for translations release. Oh, okay. release of translated oh yeah wow handbook so, is total actually i after two months of period like i was actually thinking like once we have the english release then we could give the translations team some time so they could you know review the pdf and mm -hmm. incorporate those changes and they could have a two months of time so the translations release would be delayed by two months in English one. Yeah. But if the team feels that they can do a simultaneous release, I think that's better. So there's two questions here. One is how do we signal that those translations are ready? And the second is timing. Can I suggest yes. for the signaling of readiness, maybe we enable whomever is doing the translations or working on the translations uh, to have a separate branch in the repository for translations that they could edit. And then when the Asia Pacific team community thinks that the translations are ready in Chinese, they would uh, do a pull request into the main repository. That, that would be a natural way of signaling. I don't know if that works or not. That's one idea. How long it would take for the mm -hmm. review before the release the English version? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, before the October, I mean, the next version. Yes. So there's a 30 day review period. Um, 30 days, okay. Yeah. Uh, actually and for it, us, uh, for from, from your experiences, uh, how much changes 
happened in these 30 days reviews? Very small changes historically. Mm -hmm. And the, the, mm -hmm. the most likely, the things that have, I mean, either a metric doesn't change a lot in the review period, or there are discussions that result in the metric not being released, mm -hmm. is my mm -hmm. experience. I would so, say most I of think... I would say most of the metrics make yes, it through please. review without being edited. However, okay. usually at least I would one metric probably gets edited uh, a lot. A lot. So yeah. most of the metrics make it through, and it's usually one metric will get get uh, a fair amount of it. And so the when the metrics are going through the review period, you they're not uh, they're not considered stable. So the, the metric isn't stable and ready for translation mm -hmm. until that review period is ended. How yeah. about like this thing? I, 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 I suggest it. If in the next 30 days review, before the next official release, um, Asian Pacific teams or communities uh, would, monitoring, uh, would monitor the uh, update from the each of the working groups metrics update. And if there are any uh, changes happened for these metrics, we would sync up uh, the metrics translations uh, into the uh, Chinese version. As you mentioned, there may be some, have some except, exceptional case. We have a lot of reward, uh, rework things on some single metrics, but most of the time, there are only some single uh, or small change for the metrics. So it would not cause lots, lots of workload uh, during this review days or review period. So yeah, I, I think, I, I, think I, I, I can try, try to think up whole things every day. OK. So which means uh, once the English version is released and we can release Chinese version uh, later, uh, shortly. What kind of time period are you thinking? We I think know, Yash had mentioned two months, but we don't want to, we don't really want to put uh, any undue pressure on anyone. Is two months realistic? Uh, would you need more time? Uh, are you thinking less time? Uh, I'm not sure. So review period you just mentioned it just thirty days, which means four weeks. I mm -hmm. think we can we can think up the whole days every day for that things because based on our experience in the past uh, translation work, even for the whole uh, one matrix translation, it doesn't take so much time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we just need help from other. Uh, Asia Pacific team members to help us to review that because those things have to work together. I think so, Xiaoyang and uh, Clement Lee and some other uh, team members could work together with us. Are we talking about the workflow for this release or um, for or for all the, the release hmm. workflow for maybe after we have this release and they're looking I for mean, the general and I think it's for all times to come. Yeah, after after is what I'm referring to. So once once the once you're done with the current work, how will we maintain the translations going forward? And the how do we want to connect yeah, the that's, translation that's release the long, to our long... yeah, it's it's the, the future, not uh not the current work. Can this be yeah. an ongoing thing? Uh, like uh, one metric uh, is ready during this half year. Um, we can have some maybe automated workflow that um, because it's not about a new metric is released. Sometimes maybe um, some we some some metric they they have been updated. But how can we know that? Uh, which section or exactly which which, which place is updated? Um, I think we need to set so, up a workflow and. 
So we already have a guideline for that in the doc. Say the working group makes any changes in the original English metrics, they would have to include a label in the PR or the issue which refers to that change that says that like this particular PR needs some attention from the translations community. And from that way, you could understand and uh, gauge where the changes are required in the metric. Does that help? I think that's a good idea. Yeah, however, so I, I would like to point out, so this, this document that, uh, that Yash has created, these are, these are things we've discussed uh, mm. on, on how we can streamline the process and get the translations, get the Chinese translations uh, released. However, uh, the, the, translation, the translation team, uh, we, we really need your, your help uh, with the process and figuring this out because we don't want, to, we don't want this to be a situation where we're like, uh, look at this handbook, you should do it this way. Uh, you, you're doing the work. We would, we would really love it if you could tell us the best way to do it. Uh, uh, so maybe if you could look at this document and edit it uh, and, and, and give us some ideas on how you think the process would best work. You mean this document right here? Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just my first time to, to looking through the whole documentation on this meeting. I haven't got time to. No, this is the, so there is two, and just to be clear, there's two documents I, I have flipped between. One is a metrics translation guideline document and the other is our agenda. And I, I, and this is the first time we're sharing this document with this group. So. Yeah. Okay. So this is a proposed process. I, I do think the idea of having a translation, because there's a repository for the translations, right, Kevin? Yes. So allow, you know, allowing for the creation of a release folk, you know, new release focused branch in the translations repository, and maybe one for Chinese and one for each of the other languages, and then individuals who are doing the updating of the Chinese or Spanish or whatever languages we're translating it into can just issue a pull request from that branch into the repository when the signal readiness to release the translation. Am I making okay. sense? I don't know what to make of the quiet. Kevin, do you have some ideas to say uh, after, maybe after next metrics released, we have, uh, and how about the next six months work about translation work? I haven't got time. Do we have such uh, so in instruction or ideas so, about how So that's work? actually, the, that's the question. I think that's the, the discussion that we're having here. It's like, what do you, what do you want that to look like uh, what do we want it to look like? So we, we have some thoughts on what we'd like it to look like, and that's what the that's what this document talks about. Uh, when you say this document, Kevin, you're referring to the translations guidelines. The translation guidelines document. Mm -hmm. So we we have some general thoughts on on what we'd like it to look like, but we need to know we need to know what you would like it to look like as well as the translation team. So I highlighted yes. that link um, in the document yeah. in the. Uh, and that's a the, Google. Uh, that's a Google Doc, Kevin. So we. Yeah, it's a Google Doc, and we can tran We can move it to a different document if that's uh, if that's required. Uh, I mean, I think it might be helpful to get more eyes on it more easily, um, or if um, in the course of moving, creating a GitHub repository copy of the minutes, perhaps a draft of the translations guidelines could be put in that GitHub repository where we're keeping the minutes, and then. Many people could look at it, whatever works. But I know not everybody has access to Google Docs. But uh, that's fine for us, at least uh, for, for people who attend the meeting and uh, the people who are in the Asian Pacific communities members. I think 
uh, we we all have uh, uh, access to this school talk okay from our own laptop we don't have to do something okay so on on that translation guidelines page if you if you look at it uh towards the top of the page there are four mm -hmm. bold items bold oh. and italicized those are the those are the high level questions that uh that I need to have answered uh, to help uh, to help coordinate the regular release and the trans and the translation release. So, and when we talk about the translation release, what we're talking about is we would actually we're, we create a basically a hard PDF copy of the of the metrics. It's a snapshot in time. Mm -hmm. This is the this is the release of the metrics. Uh, so, it's the the metrics release it's the one time we the one time we do a freeze on our metrics uh and the rest of the time we we work on them so okay so after this meeting we will go through hold the documentation especially for those questions we would add our suggestions and answers here that would be really helpful and uh if you if you would like to, if the translation team would like to meet with uh uh with the team that's doing the uh, metrics release uh and chat further we we would certainly be open to that uh we could set up another meeting or we can just come back next uh for the next asia pacific meeting yeah yeah that's great yeah it's the metric release project called mars i think yes. i yeah. yes yeah, I think it would be helpful if we can know more about the project, about the whole um, releasing workflow. Is it a GitHub repository, Yash, I'm assuming? Oh, there it's, it is, yeah, Chaos yes, Translations yes, right there. We have a GitHub repository and a Chaos slash Mars. Yeah, so I would say that Kevin maybe make sure that there's uh, it looks like, okay, so yeah, King's got pull request creation and merging capabilities. So this is this I is just, the translations repo. Okay. This is, that's not the Mars repo. Oh, that's I just okay. dropped down the link. Okay. I just dropped the link in the chat box. I don't know what the difference is, but okay. Metrics automated release system, right? Yeah, so the chaos translations repository is <laughs> where the uh, where the translation teams are are, are, are doing the work. Uh, the Mars repository is where we're automating the release process. So uh, we will, our, ultimately, we would like our, we'll point, we'll point our work at the translations repo to grab the updated uh, metrics when we do our release. Okay. I think it's mm. really good job, Yash. I, mm. I saw your weekly share through the mail mail list. So from as I see, we could have two we have two options. Either we could discuss this further in the next Asia Pacific call meeting, or we could schedule a separate meeting with the Mars team and the Asia Pacific uh, team and the translations team. Where, which one do you want to choose? Mm -hmm. I'm okay with both. Uh, how yeah, about we put it, we put this agenda to the next Asia Pacific meeting. And before that, we will try to answer, try to answer those questions in the, in the guideline. I just added that to the meeting for the next time. So I think next on the agenda is the meetup from July 8th, uh, discussion and output. Um, who has that? Yeah, idea? it's uh, it's added mm -hmm. by me. Uh, yep. 
actually I'm very I'm very wondering the the any feedback from from the from from Wiki meeting last Wiki meeting about our metrics model. Do you have any ideas to share with us? The the metrics model was a, it was discussed and and presented in the general chaos community meeting at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, the Tuesday after we met last, and set at 11 a.m. Central Daylight Time in the United States, which is like middle of the night for y'all. And we, um, I think it received a great deal of support and uh, positive a sense that this is a useful idea to group metrics that are used together together as the metrics model that you proposed did so I, I think it i think you got a lot of positive discussion i think i don't know anyone else have some thoughts on what we talked about i just want yeah. to add that i think um people uh definitely were interested in it a hundred percent. I think they wanted to take a little more time to kind of read through it and think about it. Um, so I would like to propose that we bring it back to the community uh, this coming Tuesday. It's a great um, idea. To kind of circle back around and see if we can, because we didn't actually like document, I don't think uh, a lot of the, uh, the verbal feedback that was given, uh, maybe a little bit, but I think people wanted a little time to kind of um, mull over it and think about it. Um, and then offer their their feedback. So if that would be okay, we can circle back on it on Tuesday, if that's okay. That would be great, I think. Yeah. That way that's we can come idea. back. Yeah. We can be specific. Yeah, we are, <clears throat> yeah, we, we are looking forward to the, the things move more for, moving forward. And uh, if you need any help and support on that, we would like to do so on that things. Because we have already have some uh, have a lot of discussion around the the metric model, so if you need more input on thinkings, we can add more about it. Maybe even we can discuss together about it next time. Yeah, I would I would just like to say I, I really appreciate I really appreciate that work. The uh, this has been a concern for me for for a while. Uh, the, the different ways we can uh, categorize, model, and, and display metrics. So, uh, currently, the way we are the way we are kind of organizing them by working group is is uh, uh, it, it's a good way to get the work done, but it's not the best way to present the metrics. So, so I really appreciate this work, and I'm uh, uh, it's an area that I, uh, I I'd like to see more on. I think the the one thing that I think everyone agreed that it was an awesome idea. Like I think there was I don't think that anyone was like no this doesn't make sense at all. Um, I think the thing that's going to be tricky for us is to figure out how to display that on the website and or other places. How to you know let people visualize that. Um, I think that's maybe the piece that we will have to do some some experimentation with or um you know get some get some creative ideas in there because that seems to be the thing that um you know it's it makes sense but also like we want to make it make sense for everyone so um because it makes sense to us because we're very familiar with you know how the metrics work and how they interact with each other so um that would be the only piece i think that it, you know might be, be a little difficult to to come together, but um, I think it's awesome. I think if we can manage to do that in a way that makes sense to someone who's just new to the whole metrics idea of, you know, putting metrics on community health, then I think that we've, you know, that's a that's a, a grand slam. That's a that's a home run right there. So. So I do have some. I have some uh, uh, prototype uh, prototype metrics. Uh, displays and, and navigation that we've uh, that we've built in the past with the idea of giving people uh, different ways to view the metrics uh, and one of the one of the things that was kind of slowing us down on that was the was actually the the website migration issue so following following website migration we can probably uh, start kind of building that feature mm -hmm. and the, the initial thought is that we uh, we, we kind of create several different ways of, of categorizing and displaying the, 
the metrics and, and kind of create a way for people to uh, uh, almost almost pick their their categorization and display it uh, on the website. So, yeah, yeah, I think and, uh, that's a good idea. And uh, have we explained in this community that the website migration is essentially the chaos community moving the WordPress site to a different server? Uh, no, I probably yeah. Probably so that's what that, that is. Yeah. That we're just moving it to a different server so that we have more control. Um, we we didn't have ownership <laughs> of the website prior, uh, so the, the Linux Foundation owned the owned the website. Uh, so there was there was a lot of functionality that we didn't have access to. So uh, limitations on our ability to edit, update, add plugins. Yeah. Um, trend making translations automated and easy. I think the this trend, this migration probably enables a lot of the things in the Mars project. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, to the, so there was a agenda item about the bus factor and elephant factor coming out of the chaos Beijing made up meetup meet up. Um, <laughs> early here. <laughs> I don't know if anybody wants to present. Yeah, I, can, I, can, I, I can read it. But... I can add some. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I can introduce the whole things happened on that day. Uh, you know, we have one the whole day's uh, event uh, last Great. last last Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, in the morning, we have all the presentations uh, through the video pro provided by by you guys, Sen, Isabella, and and Mike, and uh, Vano. And we also pre we also have a lot of presentations from different uh, people from mm -hmm. from King from Celia and uh, as you can see from this like ch channel we already share all the uh, videos and the presentations documentations on on the Dropbox if you have interest you can you can download but most of them are, are written in Chinese sorry about that <laughs> um, <laughs> that would make sense since you're in China <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, and and uh, and in the afternoon we spend almost a half day to to discussion all the topics uh, as I mentioned here. Uh, we have two two sessions of discussion. In the first round discussion, we uh, we discuss the two topic. We we have two topics. First topic is about thinking of this bus factor and elephant factor metrics used in communities, and uh, the other topics is the next thing: how to measure. Uh, operational operation events or activities like a uh, meetup uh, uh, on that day, uh, successful or not. So we got people uh, ideas uh, who attend the, 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 this meetup and have some uh, output viewpoint. So for the bus factor, uh, as you can see that, at least some, uh, some uh, actually we have lots of uh, discussion mm -hmm. around that. I just list some um, uh, interesting top, uh, viewpoints uh, output. So for the bus factor, we all believe that uh, this uh, the key contributors is very important for the communities and we have to identify their values. Uh, so that's the key things for, for the community to keep uh, growth health. And the, the viewpoint too is that um, actually this from the uh, from the investigation after we we, we do we do some measuring, uh, so for for some company or industry oriented open source communities, so this key person um, they become the key person or not, or they leave the community or not, or join the community. It does have they have they, this. Uh, he has nothing to do with uh, with with uh, their their own personal reasons. It's just because uh, the uh, the people the people who uh, who joined the company uh, have interest or, or have investments on this community, or they lost the interest from this uh, uh, community. So that's the things we we found out that. Uh, and uh, and for the elephant factor, we also have uh, two viewpoints. And first one is that uh, uh, 
it's actually it's 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 normal it's normal scenario or it's normal case that especially for the for the community just initialized at the beginning and uh, usually usually the community ha has some elephant companies uh, have the biggest mm -hmm. impact on, on into these communities mm -hmm. so we think it's normal normal case and the, the the next viewpoint that we think because this this these two uh, factors all put in the working group risk and also they put into the business risk we think of this as a risk but the viewpoint to declare that actually for some uh, enterprise users they don't think this is is a risk but they think this they can get the beneficial if uh, they found that this computer this community is uh, it's a uh, impact uh, by some trusted companies uh, you know as a key roles. so then they think they, they can trust this company uh, this uh, community's uh, product i would maybe disagree with that just a little bit um <clears throat> especially on the especially on the risk side so what what i've seen at at vmware is that certain companies that lots of people trust to do the right thing in open source projects haven't been mm -hmm. um so even so so let's talk about let's talk about google for a minute. is that recent is that a recent evo evolution don um, or has that been going on a while over the last couple of years okay okay yeah so, so the Google example would be, so if you look at um, projects like Istio and Knative, Google convinced other big companies like VMware, for example, IBM, Red Hat, others, to contribute loads of code to Istio and Knative. And they said that they were going to contribute those to the CNC app. And we contributed a lot of time and effort and code to those uh, projects. And then Google changed their mind. Um, so we, uh, we trusted Google to do uh -huh. this and Google Ooh. changed their mind. And for some of these projects, like we were able to get some neutral governance at least from Knative, but Google still owns the project. Um, for Istio, I'm, uh -huh. I'm not super happy with their governance right now, but it's, you know, it, I, I'd say that one's probably less important to us than Knative. But, you know, the other example you can look at recently is, you know, things like um, Elastic, where they've relicensed Elasticsearch and Kibana. And I can tell you that this is causing an enormous amount of pain internally at VMware because we've embedded some of these projects into our products. Oh, and yeah. now they're not open source anymore <clears throat> because they've relicensed it under a license that's not open source. Um, and similarly, projects like Grafana, for example, have been relicensed under under a license that not all companies are are happy with. So, so we've also, you know, we've also got Grafana embedded in some of our products, and we have we have customers who aren't happy with the license that it was relicensed under. So now we're looking at what our what our options are. So I think this is something that we've been looking at really closely within VMware, and I. I do. I, so I agree with you. I agree with you. A lot of people aren't looking at this as a risk. Um, I think that they should be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also, I, I can have some similar case like uh, MongoDB. They also change the license. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But we put a lot of trust in these companies that are running these open source projects because at the time they seem to be doing all of the right things. But the, we have no guarantee that they are going to continue to do all of the right things over time. Yeah. So, uh, which means they are, it's also the, the big risks for, for the other companies and users. Mm -hmm. And we do have some impact on those less of changes in the past years. Yeah, yeah I agree. So we can continue. Uh, Zhang, Zhang Ning yeah. has had their hand up for a long time. Is oh, that, geez, I, I don't know. There's I, still a, a <laughs> question there or a comment or. Sorry? Or is that a mistaken hand up? Zhang uh, Ning has a hand up. Don has noticed. I, as a facilitator, did not notice. <clears throat> oh, sorry, sorry. I, I think maybe I first got a round table uh, button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
right. Okay. <clears throat> Face is saved. Um, okay. Okay. I think uh, the next uh, topic is about uh, uh, how to measure uh, operational operation events or activities successful or not. Actually, this topic is hosted by Jun. Jun, would you like to share <laughs> share some thinkings from you? Oh. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I just open my computer. Sorry, I put them in the chat again, just in case you join late. Mm. Uh, I cannot share my screen. Oh, uh, I may be able to fix that. That's all right. Try now. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I have to stop sharing. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe try now. OK. <clears throat> OK, let me see. Uh, we can see our meeting, the last meeting, chaos meeting. and. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> this is our meeting schedule, and this is uh, our Ooh. meeting. Yeah, mm. picture. That's impressive. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yes, <clears throat> and and uh, you can see we have a lot of uh, WeChat, WeChat public, uh, WeChat public account to show our meeting. Nice. So we can we can see this. This is. Uh, mm, 200, 200, uh, mm. 86. Yeah, yeah, this, like this. So we have kills, kill, kills account and uh, open owner account and men's book account and uh, some other account, account mm -hmm. to show our meeting. And in the, in the middle meeting and we can, um, we have a WeChat, WeChat group and the, uh, there have uh, 16, 67. 16, seven, yes, 67 people in our WeChat group. And uh, we can see this. 18, 28, 18. Yeah, the actually <clears throat> yeah, 18. The June chat to show that uh, we, have we have registration for 18 people, but uh, on that day, we have 28 people to show up <clears throat> on that That's day. That's awesome. I mean, it's also. Yeah. Probably didn't order and enough all, food. Yeah, and finally, and, and finally we got uh, eighteen people to 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 attend our survey online. So, yeah, attend our in questionnaire investigation. Question questionnaire. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> in this we have we have a uh, uh, nine question <clears throat> and. Uh, 18. 18, 18, yeah, 18 people um, write uh, this uh, um, question. So 12. we can get, yeah, we can get got uh, um, many informations. <clears throat> we, uh, in, in this, in this, we can say um, 12, 12 company in turn in our meeting. <clears throat> and uh, we have, I can say the most, uh, we can say five, five people, uh, they are developer. <clears throat> so we, we, we have two CEO internal meeting. So we are really happy for this. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, on this, we can say um, in our meeting, they come from, uh, zero percent from so Slack. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, the most uh, <clears throat> most people can um um alone. Most people know this meeting. They are from um, their friend. And their friend told them we have this meeting. So, eighteen eight percent people uh, know this meeting from their friend. Yeah, two thirds. That's pretty good. Yes, yes. <clears throat> so they uh, mostly 
and they want to know in this meeting they want to um, communicate with uh, communicate with uh, <clears throat> um, with our kill kills people and they want to know uh, they want to know more metric from from kills like this we can mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. <clears throat> So uh, the important thing is, uh, oh, you can see this. Most people, um, most people, um, uh, involved, um, uh, do an uh, open source job. They all came from com company, and uh, they, um, and they all from like this. Sorry, I, I not is translated it, to. Is it, is it a, do you, maybe I can, I can help you on that. I do okay. some preparation for that. Uh, may, may I help on that? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, like that, this, this is a survey, survey result, as you can see. The, the first mm -hmm. question is uh, uh, the people who, uh, who uh, contribute to the open source communities, is it? Uh, uh, government uh, is, is it company investment purpose it's all uh, for full time to join the community uh, uh, com a contribution or this is just a personal interest so the first uh, the first uh, bucket you can say that the most of people who attend uh, the open source community actually it's um, from company mm -hmm. so it's Mm. To let us to let us the full time to attend the community's activities like uh, contributions mm. or attending the events, and uh, and the second bucket is showing the um, the the company because of the company's invest investment, I can attend it as a part time, mm -hmm. and uh, in the last two uh, the the last two it's a sixteen point six sixty seven. It's about uh, university's research project. Oh, okay. They, they have intention to attend uh, this open source communities. So this is the, the top three. Uh, the, uh, that's looking yes. a people group. Yeah, that's very. Yeah. That's so I think, it's that, <laughs> I, I think it's slightly different from the uh, survey I can see from, from Index Foundation survey and uh, from other surveys from Europe and uh, North America, because I can see so lot lots of people from Europe and uh, and uh, North America. They they have uh, some personal interest, so they tend to these communities. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest biggest difference between China yes. and uh, mm -hmm. the other communities. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, and we're not. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe you can click the next. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> you go on. Okay. Okay. I can. I can try my best to translate the whole things. Uh, this question actually is uh, who. Uh, so, what are the ways your open source program uh, quantifies the success? So that's mostly. Uh, so, how to marry the community's success or health helps. So the 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 um, the top number the the, the biggest uh, uh, number is uh, 83, 83 uh, 33. It's about uh, contributors uh, 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 number of contributors. Uh, and the 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 second biggest number is uh, sixty one point one one. It's about uh, upstream contributions. So, which means uh, these two metrics for for company or communities communities they think it's um, it's a very um, important metrics for 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 the communities to measure their community success. And also, we have some other questions about uh, uh, fewer license violations and the faster uh, compliance process. But um, yeah, yeah. The next page is about um, mm -hmm. what are the areas uh, your company has most uh, uh, benefited from from open source program. Yeah. And uh, the the biggest uh, uh, um, number 
it's about uh, a, a increased, uh, it's increased the speed and uh, uh, it abilities in the development cycle. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The, the last thing is about, uh, um, yeah, it's about the technology areas. So your company uh, focus on. So the first one is about uh, AI, machine learning, and uh, and the data analysis. The next one is uh, is uh, is a blockchain. And the next, uh, I think you think you can understand C and C D, and yeah, the next is about cloud, and mm -hmm. uh, and the next is about uh, container, and mm -hmm. container and uh, visualization, and DevOps, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and the networking and edge. Uh, sorry, this is I O T and yeah. I O T and embedded. The next yeah. is about networking and edge and open hardware. And mm -hmm. about uh, uh, some security, a security system, and the web application development, so and others. So, so you can see the most of people from this uh, meetup are coming from the areas of the uh, machine yeah. learning and the AI. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. So that, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> And this is the chaos matrix. We try to find out uh, which matrix are very um, useful for this meeting. Meeting for this meeting. So we are trying to find out which matrix. Uh, we just find out uh, uh, common matrix and uh, event diversity to to metric the speaker such as present um, present speaker and uh, um, family friendliness <clears throat> diversity exists like this and uh, another is the value um, for example org value our company value so um, we just uh, find out this metric and maybe we um, <clears throat> maybe other people can Get us more metrics to uh, to metric uh, one meeting. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is uh, a user. Yeah, that's the user profile. Okay. You can yeah, see most of people are uh, twenty two people are men and uh, and six six people are women and then. Uh, the carriers, uh, CEOs, data analysis, the engineers, um, mm -hmm. and the researchers, and the community management, operation, governance, and the medias. Okay. Uh, and also. And those are the projects represented, or the projects people are working on on the bottom right. <clears throat> no, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is. Oh, we can see the trans translate percent. Uh, this is WeChat. This is friends. Um, this is very hard to um uh, to get the translate translate percent, but um, but this step is more clear, mm -hmm. like <laughs> register and uh, actually attend the meeting and the WeChat group. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is the question, questionnaire. And the another, uh, the end is uh, uh, we, how many people already contribute in our uh, community? Yeah, which means after the whole meetup finished, how many yeah. people have uh, successfully transferred uh, Attracted to the community com contributions. Yeah. So, so this 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 step is uh, more clear to get our um, translate percent, like nineteen four percent mm -hmm. like this. <clears throat> What's the sixty four percent line? Uh, the two two translate uh, to three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and the last is so uh, we only get uh, 16 GitHub ID and 11 Giddy ID. That's interesting. 
<clears throat> I would have expected yeah. more giddy IDs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, then we can um, we can keep 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 going, keep keep um, see those people's uh, contribute in the next uh, weekly or next next uh, week. Oh, okay. That's what yeah. they are. Right. Yeah. Uh, keep keep trying keep keep see these people. Okay, good. Um, wow. Okay. Oh, this is just a uh, map. In map, we can say the most people come from this. Uh -huh. um, is that what Beijing is? Country. Yeah, that makes yes. sense. Yes. <laughs> Guang, Guangzhou. Okay, Guangzhou. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is our, our matrix. <clears throat> so we, the uh, yeah, um, could you okay. translate this? <clears throat> okay. Uh, and we can say that most of, uh, most uh, attendees are coming from the uh, companies and and universities. It's eighteen in total, mm -hmm. and uh, personally, uh, the people uh, is not belong to the companies and uh, univers universities. It's uh, it's very small, okay. and most of people the, this the, they are. Um, the their role or care their role is uh, developers or, or engineers, mm -hmm. and also um, they uh, how they can get this meetup information is mostly coming from their friends, and uh, not from some uh, media's trans uh, media's mm -hmm. uh, uh, productive, and uh, we have some uh, uh, thinkings. Uh, how to translate more? Uh, how to translate more people who attend those uh, meetup or events, and finally uh, track it mm -hmm. to the to the communities and mm -hmm. make them as the users of community or, or developers of co communities. If there are any better way to to let them attend this those meetup, and uh, and also mm -hmm. if we found more engineers uh, or developers have more interest on our chaos communities, maybe we can uh, uh, have more uh, thinkings or um, about how to help those developers or engineers to attend our communities. Yeah, that's all the thinkings we have. Okay, well, thank you. Um, yeah, that's all. <clears throat> I, we appreciate the update. It's very helpful to know where the Asia Pacific community and the Beijing meetup went in terms of people's interest and, and whatnot. So thank you very much for sharing all that. I'm also more knowledgeable about where Beijing is in China than I was before I saw this map. <laughs> 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 so that's a, we'll take that. Um, I, uh, we're a little bit over time and a few people had to leave, but uh, uh, if there's not, I think this is a really great meeting and thank you very much, everyone. Um, thank you for sharing all that <clears throat> uh, wonderful news and um, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yep. See you next yeah. time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.